for a large part of our history, greenhouses and the garden centers and conservatories that we make were actually fabricated out of red wood that was brought in on railroad cars from California. Today, Rao greenhouses are made from steel, aluminum, glass, and sometimes plastic. The steel and aluminum, we use that primarily for the structural components, and then we're covering all of these greenhouses, garden centers, conservatories, research facilities with some type of glass or plastic covering. We literally at times have started with nothing more than sketches somebody did on the back of a napkin or the back of an envelope and we'll then take that idea and we have our own design engineering staff and we'll completely do all the engineering necessary, all the design and configuration necessary to come up with a complete and finished product. And at the end of the day, our product is a beautiful structure that is to grow or display or sell plants. The Crone Conservatory here in Eden Park was built around the same time Rao Brothers was founded in the early 1930s. But this magnificent structure, housing more than 3,500 species of plants from around the world, was recently expertly upgraded by Rao Brothers. Crone Conservatory is a project where we have over the last couple years gradually replaced and renovated the entire structure. You'll see Rao Brothers greenhouses all over the tri-state. Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart, you'll see our garden center typically attached right on the side of the store. Diefenbachers, Natorps, Burns, um, Bacons, there are a lot of uh, local growing operations that we've worked with over the years. We try to do everything physically possible here in Cincinnati or, or in one of our manufacturing facilities before it actually ships out to go to the job site. Once it gets to the job site, it's like a big erector set. You have posts, columns, uh, bar joists, trusses. But it's not materials or even methods that give Rao Brothers its competitive edge. It is 100% the people. We have the best team in our industry and we thrive because of that team. I was fortunate to have a father who was very good at understanding that the most important thing was to make sure that the business thrived. And it was very, very important to him that it not be just a family business. The family is much bigger than just our immediate family. It's 150 or 160 people. There is still a place for the small business, and I, I think there's always a place if you really strive to be the best at what you do, there's always going to be a place for you. I think more and more people are aware of the uh, importance of being a steward of the environment or protecting the environment and obviously what we do in terms of plants and, and, and all that fits right into that, into that market segment. So we certainly have our challenges but feel very good about the future. I'm Brian Patrick for Fifth Third Bank, Hometown Business Weekly.